What's up, folks? What's up, Tim? How you doing, buddy? I got this massive heavy box here to open from my brother, J. Brian Kuntz. He sent me a bunch of stuff. What's up, Dondi? Huge box, and it's heavy, heavy. So I'm super excited to cut this baby open and check it out. I'd appreciate it if y'all could uh, send a uh, message through the Toy Savage uh, messenger and let everybody know there that I'm live because I forgot to tell them. I'm too curious, but I was going to wait till tomorrow, but I can't. So how's everybody been today? So I may have a call right now. I just heard our phone ring. So I may have to shut it down and leave. If that's the case, I'll have to do it later on this afternoon. But let me just wait a few minutes and see if that's what it was. And I got this plastic Ginsu knife. What's up, Caleb? How you doing, buddy? So I got this huge box from my buddy, J. Brian Kuntz. <laughs> I know, I appreciate you sending the message. We just got a, I just heard the phone ring in the other room where the boss is, and I think we may have got a call. So I might not be able to open it right this moment. I'm kind of waiting for it to come out and let me know. If, uh, I apologize if it is a call, then uh, I'm going to have to shut this down, and then we'll do it later. <laughs> it was the terrible time for me to push the button. But... Hey, the thumbnail look good, right? It happens. Shut it down. Maybe. I'm still waiting for it to come out. I don't want to cut into it and then have to leave. But it's like several, several pounds of... It's heavy and it's huge. And he has uh, put some mystery stuff in here for me, so... I'm really excited to get into it. I know there's a ton of cool stuff. Oh man, sorry to hear that, Caleb. I don't know what it is about uh, YouTube sometimes. I guess little glitches or issues. So I'm hoping she comes out and says it. It is, it's pounds of toys. YouTube acts up a lot. I need to shave, man. I need to cut this beard off. Makes me feel old. I want to carve into it. This sucks. It... Okay, if y'all can just wait a moment. Give me one second to go check out and see what it is. All right, folks, sorry. We do not have a call. Let's do this. I'm gonna start opening it. Oh man, this thing is so sharp. 20 years young, no call buttons. This thing could be loaded with amazing vintage stuff. I'm super hoping it's stuff I've always wanted. Okay, it's the scream knife. Okay, 
Okay, here goes buds. Alright. You already start seeing some stuff. First thing I'm pulling out is electronic hover tread vehicle. This is an early 90s alien vehicle from the aliens toys. Kenner. Of course it's Kenner. So how sweet is that? In the box still. Who's excited? Any predators I call. <laughs> yeah, this is so nice. It's still taped up, so that's what this tank looks like. Of course, I if y'all seen, I have the, the loader, the yellow loader they use. Exoskeleton loader. I've got a ton of predators. But that is a sweet looking tank from the Kenner Aliens line. So, that is dope. Alright, so I got this uh, custom custom V8 Vega for you Hot Wheels guys. I do too, Dondi. That whole wave is amazing. I think this was something they threw in extra. Isn't that nice? It's pretty cool. So, got that baby. And then we got a Iron Man, like a little bust. Let's see what this is. Paperweight. This is a paperweight. It's an Iron Man paperweight. So that's cool. I think he just threw it in there as an extra gift, so that's super nice. Hey, what's up, Simon? Yeah, Koontz is a really cool guy. Uh, he's a really huge... Right? You're, you're right, Kevo. I want to do something like that. This uh, gentleman that I'm unboxing today, his name is J. Brian Koontz. He's part of our Toy Savages Facebook group. Uh, he's an awesome guy, him and his wife. Uh, he is a huge collector. He picks up all kinds of... He's a major vintage collector. He has like... In his collection, I think he has like seven or eight scare glows. He's got it all. All right, so the next is going to be a vintage uh, bow from the She-Ra Princess of Power collection. This is the only guy, I think, in that collection. They would probably rip us off. <laughs> yeah, he is an awesome. Uh, I wish he would start doing YouTube videos. He's Right now, you find him on the channels. He does a lot of uh, hauls. He shows hauls. So we got some vintage. These are extra gifts as well. Vintage uh, baseball packets from the 90s. I love China KOs. If it was vintage China KOs, I'd feel like it was a win. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, Simon, I like him. I need to get his uh, weapon. Man, he's solid, too. His extremities are tight. I have a bunch of the Princess of Power figures, but this is the first female. So he's amazing. <laughs> Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders uh, poker cards. That's cool. <laughs> Official license Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. Full team set, 41 cards. Who doesn't like these? Let's see. Let's take a quick look. Oh, these aren't poker cards. These are the collectible cards. Ah, oh, the day I find my scarecrow, I'm going to blow up. These are the actual collectible cards. So that's cool. These are nice. These are 92. 92. And then we got three packs of uh, early 90s baseball collect cards. The scare, glow, scare Glow goes way over 100 bucks starting. And that's broken Scare Glow's incomplete. All right, now we got a stack of comic books really quick. Let's go through these. 
Man, look how old this is. This is Warheads. And these are 80s. It's in the Warheads comic. Marvel. Issue 3, Double Dragon. Yeah, you're right. Three to five hundred bucks. Early nineties. Double Dragon. This is eighty three. The Teen Titan. The new Teen Titans, nineteen eighty three. Isn't that awesome? And then we got some Watchmen comics. Man, these are like perfect prints. These must be fairly new. These are 2012 Watchmen comics. Right? Eight, 1983 Teen Titans. The Huntress, which is a very cool... Uh, well, I've seen her as a villain and a good person, so... This is 89, The Huntress, DC Comics. This is issue one of Age of Apocalypse. That's kind of cool. Looks kind of stylized artwork on the front cover, but... So you got Wolvie there. Yeah, Watchmen is awesome, man. Here's a, issue one of a Superman series. And then we got a Green Lantern series. This is a, he's a Reyes, right? Or he's in his, I think he's a Hispanic Green Lantern. Rise of the Third Army. This is issue two of Bat, uh, I mean, uh, number zero origin or of Batman. It's a pretty cool looking comic. I definitely would like to check that out. Okay, and this one is, uh, issue one of Arkham Asylum. And the last comic is, uh, Thunderbolts. Marble Thunderbolts issue 12. And you see we got uh, Punisher there. Front cover's got Punisher. Do, and I see Deadpool in a picture. And uh, Elektra, I think. Elektra Nacho Supreme. Venom up here. Deadpool Venom. Is it a good series? I don't think I've read this one. I've got a ton of stuff here. Check this out. This is one thing I was super excited for. This is a in package, uh, I think it's 88, uh, California Raisins watch set. How cool is that? 87. Fan club, this was a fan club exclusive watch set from 87. LCD quartz, five function, mix and match. You can change all the, that is cool. I love those of you that know some of my collecting habits is definitely the California raisins. So, super stupid. Holy crap guys, I'm loaded with stuff. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got Grimace, McDonald's. And this is 76. That's cool. Now I got a whole pack of raisins here. Let's slip through them real quick. These are all 88s. I believe they're 88s. More raisins. We got radio raisin. I have him. The apparently uh, Uber Hulk Nathan was telling me these all have names. I didn't know they had personal names. We got. I love the fact that they all wear Chucks. Chuck Taylor shoes. No worries. What's up, Mr. Kuntz? 
I can recap anything, man. Everybody is like freaking out with all the awesome goodness of this box. Surfer Raisin. I was just telling everybody that uh, apparently these guys have names. I don't know their names, but apparently they have names. What's up, Mr. Judson? How you doing, brother? We got someone on the brass. All right, so going into the next action figure. A ton of the rate are they expensive, Kevo? You're not too late, Jason. I can. I have only gone through a couple of things. No worries. Y'all remember this cartoon? Captain Planet, he's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Just got back from the. You doing okay, bud? I'm late. <laughs> I've already uh, talked all good about you, Mr. Koontz. About how you and your wife are awesome people and that uh, to be checking your uh, auctions out, you put out some awesome uh, reply auctions, really good prices. I used to love this. And they have like several figures. Like, they have vehicles. So it's definitely something I... I haven't picked up before, but I would love to get into. Let's see if I can make this. It's a 91. Speaking of the Diablito. Captain Planet was lame. <laughs> we got a cust uh, gold Captain Planet suit there, which he's awesome looking. I like the vehicles that come with this figure also. Wow. Look at that. We've got like an armored military Jeep. That is cool. Kevo, the, the gentleman's box that I'm opening, Mr. Uh, J. Brian Kuntz, he's in the chat right now. This is his uh, reply auction. He does, he has some amazing stuff. That's the one I was telling you, he had all the scare glows and all the vintage. Little uh, transformer. Look how cool this is. I like the easy ones like that. Tiny. What's up, Don D? We got a little fat flash. All right, let's jump into another toy. Uh, I believe this guy is he from Bucky O'Hare? Mr. Bucky O'Hare. Look how cool this gator is. Hi there. Hey, uh, Dondi, how's the weather over there? Y'all starting to pick up some weather from it? I know it's like stalled out and like cruising at like a mile an hour or something crazy. It's a purple gator. <laughs> You're right, but it is a purple gator. It is a purple gator. There you go. Toy Business Live Group on Facebook. I want to see Mr. Kuntz. Uh, what would it take to get my Facebook page into stuff like that? I would like to know how to start doing the reply auctions there to get people to go and do them. And grow that... Uh, website a little bigger. <laughs> J. 
check this out. Uh, look at this custom, guys. And don't get scared. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, boys? This is a clone trooper. It's a gay. He looks a little gay with the hands, but it's a Beetlejuice clone trooper. Hey, boys. Why don't you come and visit me? Beetle Trooper. Do host. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, boys. Clone Juice. My name is Booty Juice. Check this guy out. So this is, uh, which line is this from? I know it's Arnold. Does anybody remember what line toy line this is from? Let's see. 93. Do, do us, Mish. He is cool. Man, I really appreciate it, Brian. You put so much stuff in here. Like, you loaded it down, and I really appreciate it. It's so awesome. Here, we got a little bit of Star Wars. Rammstein. Hey, guys, I'm a Gamorrean guard. What's up? A vintage one. He looks awesome. Now I need to get a... What was that animal that he'd watch? A... I went blank on the animal. Playmates, the Arnold. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Mr. Mega Jack? How you doing, brother? Did you say... What's up, Miguel? How you doing, buddy? Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, there you go, Dubek. You're right. The Dubek. The Rancor. Rancor. Look, this is my, from this little bag here, this is my favorite. Down at Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. Look at this, man. I just load it down. I just pull out bag after bag after bag after bag. Let's see here. We got a bumblebee. Live. Oh, sweet. You want to join? Bumblebee. Hey, Pete. From your Goodwill find? Yeah. This is a unboxing from my buddy J. Brian Koontz. He sent me a ton of stuff. Like, I'm like scrolled across here with comics and toys. Damn. And I got Beetlejuice. This looks like That's an animated. I mean, a Bumblebee, yeah. It looks like an animated series, Bumblebee. This he looks awesome. Sweet. Yeah, he's awesome. He don't take mess off anybody. He beats people up if he has to. What? What's up, Mr. Digital Art? How you doing, buddy? What'd you find? Some cheesecake for me and not you? I found cheesecake. But I found a duck. I put that in there for you. Thank you. That's See? Check that. Sweet. You feel better? Oh, yeah. I need a nap. Share the cheesecake. No, it's all mine. I love cheesecakes. Oh, look how sweet this guy is. This is from, uh, was it Monsters, Inc.? Remember Sully and I think oh, this... Yeah. 
What's the monster's name? I don't remember who he is. He's one of the guys that um, does something with the doors. Yeah. He, he sweeps after the kid kind of touches everything or something along those lines. Yeah, that's the ticket. Just popped in to say hi. What's up? Make a new art view. Awesome, man. Can't wait to see it, brother. You take care. Uh, should I should say brother. I mean, my friend. Why can't you say brother? In case it's a sister. Oh. Ew. That's why I was just telling her. Because it's a sister. <laughs> I can't say brother when it's a sister. Gotcha. Oh, look. This is a... Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let's see. That's just a... A, a, a yellow bunny? Yeah, but it's Yellow bunny. Okay, that's just weird. I said sister, she messed up. I'm here. I can call her sister. See you later, sister. sister. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely week, everybody. Okay, is this uh it's not Captain Planet, right? Is this something to do with jam? Space jam or I can't remember what this is from. No, that's not Space Jam or Captain Planet. Who's he from? I've seen him before. I just went blank because I'm old. And see now? When he dunks, he can fly like 100 feet in the air to dunk. And why do you think that? Because he's got flames on his arm? Think of the spoon in the Toy Story. Or your, oh yeah, Sporky. Backstreet Boys. This isn't Backstreet Boys, is it? Backstreet's back. All right. Do, 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 do. I don't know the words. You were in Chicago, Tim? Amazing. And it and wasn't quite amazing. And it's stale. It's disgusting. Did you see the comic for your wife? Hell yeah, but she can get it. I mean, I'm gonna let her. See. Look at that. That's an old Teen Titans. No, it's the new Teen Titans. I mean, an old new Teen Titans. Is it the Huntress? Is that what you're talking about? Apocalypse, Superman, Green Lanterns. And uh, these are all awesome. Save me a slice. <laughs> no cheesecake for you. They said that Chicago's the place to go for cheesecake. No, New York. Nuevo York. New York has amazing cheesecake. I'm not just saying that because we're from New York because we're not. We don't rep New York, but you've been we there? We don't rep New York, but New York has the best. Black thing. Ranger. I went to the United Center for MJ statue. Man, that is awesome, Tim. I know you're a big uh, Chicago Jordan. Bulls fan. <laughs> I see lots of stuff. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's a Power Ranger. It's a black Power Ranger. Uh, what else would you call him? Gold. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to see that statue. It's world famous. So we got a, an old Cyclops. Pew, pew, pew. Cyclops. And then we got, look what we got here. He's very important to steroid users. Whoever can guess who he is. Guess what? Uh, Let me see. Who is he? He is El Mysterio. <laughs> El Mysterio. He's a mystery, right? I guess so. I am I wrong? No, I knew who he was. Who is he? If I tell you, then everybody already guessed. <laughs> who was he? This looks like Han in his hot get up. What up, guys? We were just discussing these nine, these uh, Star Wars figures. For a while, they went to a four inch size because they're three and three oh, quarters, yeah, but they that. made these bulkier and a four inch. And I think they did good. Good guesses. <laughs> now, look at this guy. It's 1993. I don't know where he's from, to be honest. He looks like a good, clean-cut young man. He looks like um, the kid from Tool the Tool, Tool Man Taylor. He does look like that kid, Jonathan something. I can't remember the kid's name was. But I'm pretty sure he isn't. 
Well, you know, he's got that look. He's got that vibe. Look at the hair. I don't think they made a toy line for Tim the Tool Man. Oh. And he's not Last that action hero. Kid. There you go. That's what I thought he was. No, you did not. Yeah, I did. This is his son. This is the last action hero's son. I knew it all along. It's tool time, kid. <laughs> I guess some people agreed with you. Thank you. See? See? Come on up. We got another paperweight. A cat bus paperweight. Where his arms are cut off. He looks awesome. But it's a paperweight. It looks weird. It's like a statue. I know what a bus is. Jar Jar Binks! Jar Jar! Need Hulk. Hulk smash puny people. Oh, Misa, Jar Jar! Misa! Misa! Don't know what Misa talking about! And then we have, look, look, we got another helmet. Sweet! A clone trooper helmet. I love the Cubs, Bears, anything Chicago, puny paper. <laughs> okay, now we're talking about Cubs is amazing. <laughs> the Cubbies? Cubbies rock. Oh, look at this crazy looking guy. He is. Hey, everybody. He has no face. He has a little face. It's Does weird. he have a face? Yeah, he's like a little shark looking guy. Blackhawks are my hockey team. Come at me, bro. Let's do this. Let me just shoot up some more horse tranquilizers. We got it. Oh, this is a good looking. This is what I was talking about again. They kind of changed the format on these uh, in the 90s. These Star Wars figures, they made them bulkier like their own steroids. Just his arms. Because his legs. He got chicken legs. This is cool. This is a uh, Play Mobile. Looks like a vintage. There's a bunch of them. I think that's all that they have over there. Hey, but you heard how Dondi is doing during the hurricane? Uber, he's on here right now. He's uh, he's on the chat. What's this guy? He's like Astro Boy. Astro Boy. That the Astro Boy. And then we got Luke. I am not your mother. Red leader one. Red leader one. Right before he goes. That's racist. What? They crashed? It's not my fault. You crashed red leader one. The first one they killed. One of the first few they killed is that fat dude. You should have laid off the top of <laughs> Red, red leader one. Skim his <laughs> She's good. These are awesome. <gasps> This is the early 90s. Uh, no way. It's collectible cards of the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. I'll buy it for you. How, How much? much? These are worth $100. I'll just look them up. Shit. And then I got some vintage baseball cards. I'm serious. I'll buy it for you. Why do you like them so much? I don't like them. Rudy likes the Cowboys. Does he? But these are all the cheerleaders. Well, why would you want your cheer man? He's going to look at girls. You don't want him looking at girls. I am confident in myself. He can look at whoever he wants. <laughs> and if they are willing to take him with all of his wonderfulness. No, you said he's perfect. I never said he was perfect. He's, he's a, a perfect man. guy. There is no perfect man. Open, op open. What are we supposed to open? I'll open it. Oh, they want you to open the cards. Oh, they're, they're open already. Oh, it's You can close it. You can open it. It has it. a dollar. That's like... Ten dollars, it says, but that's back in the day. That is not back in the day. Yeah, it is. That's an old sticker. They're worth a hundred now. Let me see the sticker. But you know, for you, since you're a really close friend, uh -huh. seventy-five. Ten, <laughs> let me see the sticker. It's old. That is not old. There's not even any brown on it. It is. Well, stickers don't go brown. They, they stay white. No, they don't stay white. You would do me like that. I thought we were buds. I'm gonna give you a big discount. Mm -hmm. You made seventy bucks. Look at them. They have that 90s hairstyle, too. You can tell. You, you can look here, right here. 1992. It's funny, but in the back of the card, it has their little bio. Like, this one's had two C-sections. <laughs> <laughs> after, after a time as a Dallas she's cheerleader, she's got eight kids, a tummy tuck, a C-section. A boob lift. An there accidental four abortions. She's, a, she's sideways. Man, she's birthed 72. 
Yeah. Do you think she's still a cheerleader? Probably not. She's 40-something <laughs> years old. These are awesome. And you can learn all about the girls. You don't even like the Cowboys. Are you kidding? I grew up on the Cowboys. That's that the only team. You like them? That's the only team I like. You don't like. You don't even follow football. I love them. They are so amazing. These things are worth. I mean, ten dollars. He sent. I give you twenty five dollars. He sent me so much money. Money. I mean, I I paid a lot for these, right, Mr. J. Brian Coons? You told me you just sent them. How to much me. are they worth? What's up, Solo Hunter? What you doing, brother? How's it going? How's the weather over there? Coons better not lie. How many? How much are these worth, Coons? I'm, I'm gonna look them up. He he knows. He's a bigger collector than okay, I. I'm gonna eBay him. He knows about see. vintage. Well, eBay's not always right. That's just what people will pay. Okay. But you need to look these up on a see, cards on card index. What? Card overpricedcards.com. Yeah, yeah, go to that one. <laughs> look, this is from a female toy line. This is the only guy in the Princess of Power. She wrote Prince of Power. Right. I think his name is Bo. I think his name was Bo. See, <laughs> Hot, hot, hot. Uh -uh. Oh, you got one of those walkers. Look, I got some really cool. Oh, Captain Planet. He's our hero who'll take pollution down to zero. Yeah, too bad. He, um, These are some awesome figures. On all the smog and died. <gasps> that was racist oh, as hell. Oh, he California. He shouldn't have. And what did we say this was again? Does anybody remember who this guy is? I've seen Ladies him. Ladies man. I can't remember the toy line he's from. It but, doesn't say on the bottom of this No, it just has a year. It's like an early 90s toy, but I can't make out what it says. There's a bunch of words. Maybe it was when um, the only but, time that the U.S. had a really good uh, basketball team for the Olympics. And they had fire? Yeah. Is it really Backstreet Boys? For real? They made a toy line? They made a toy line of Backstreet Boys? Who is the ghost face killer? <laughs> the white ghost face killer? What's up, Hot Cheeto Fingers? What you doing, brother? How's it going? On the back streets, back. All right. Do, 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 do. They had a toy line, Burger King or McDonald's. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Hmm. And who's this yellow bunny? It's a bunny. He's just a bunny. Justin Byballer. Beebler. Beeballer. Anybody know the yellow bunny? This is when you're on heroin. You have a yellow bunny hanging out with you. What's up, bud? And he's all over him. Oh, yeah, bud. I like the ride ball. the Ride the yellow bunny. Kevin. Who's Brian? This one? The bunny. This is Brian? Brian the bunny. It's like they had the Spice Girls. Ah. Ah. Did not know this. You learned Orale. something. You should put the helmet on him. I wonder if it fits. Of course it fits. Oh shit. You lied to me. I lied, lied to, to you. Me. All those times I said that I love you. You, you lied, lied to me. But I do. But I do do Easter basket stuffer to me. You think it's a generic uh, knockoff Easter basket stuffer? No, it's an antique Easter basket stuffer. I'm uh, antique. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, the basketball player is Brian. This is Brian. He's one of my favorites now. He's in good shape, too. I've seen him before. Brian? I've Brian seen him. the Backstreet Boy? Yeah, I've seen him for sale before. So he's Brian the basketball playing Backstreet Boy. Whoa, try mm -hmm. saying that five times. Wasn't fast. one of the Backstreet... No, no. One of the... One of the... What do they call Boy bands... I don't think it was Backstreet Boys. No, it was In Sync. There was one was gay. Oh, remember? Yeah, Lance. 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 Was it Lance? Which one was gay? Doesn't matter. Keep going. Let's see what else you got. Okay, so I got these really sweet, collectible, vintage, amazing Dallas Cowboy cheerleader cards. Mm -hmm. I got some awesome baseball cards. Man, you know what? I have a hard time when I get these type of uh, '80s and '90s cards closed up. I want to open them, but at the same time, I'm scared. Check out this guy. Oh, I love puppets. Aww, he's a crocodile. Yeah, I think he's a Bucky O'Hare figure. The purple crocodile. I got mail. Nick was a ninja. AJ was a gangster. Kevin was futuristic. Howie was shit. That was not I nice. don't remember. Oh, shit, I don't remember. <laughs> I thought he was poo. <laughs> they were all gay. <laughs> Which one was gay out of the boy bands? All the boy bands were gay. Uh, that's funny. He was poo. And look at this. What? Oh, no. Grimace. That is sweet. Okay, 76. Now, that is maybe worth money. Give me 100. NSYNC I, was gay, too. I don't like Grimace that much. Look at this one. Who, who's he, Ant-Man? It's the Flash. Oh, he's a baby Ant-Man. He's a little baby Flash. 
That's before you go squish. Squish. I'm sorry, I bet it was a lot better than Carl Hawkins. Come and on, Bane. Up. This is Bane. He fights it's Batman. El Mysterio. It's Bane. But he is Spanish. Bane is an, oh yeah, he's an ex-military guy. He yeah. He fell somewhere and got blown up or something or other. See, come on, I know. And he, became, he was a vigilante of some My sort. favorite piece. This is Kenner, early 90s Aliens line, and this is like a tank. Who likes this Kenner tank? They lied to you. There was no tank in the Aliens saga, was there? Uh-huh. Because it went on, like, in stories, novels and stuff. They had oh, all these true. wars, and okay. they had all these crazy-looking alien hybrids. So it started, it, it ended oh, up with, like, yeah. Starship Troopers. Yeah, like Starship Troopers. Yeah. I remember now. Remember? No, not really, but it worked. A Frank Thomas rookie. I, oh, I haven't opened anything. You talking about these these cards? Should I open one? Everybody vote if they think I should open one in the chat. The orange. The orange? The orange one. Okay. Collect all MVP, all 26 MVP little gold cards. Oh. No? Yes. It comes with three puzzle pieces. You'll never get the puzzles. Open them all? Okay, let's open this one. Uh, this one could give me something amazing. I could get a card. That's you know technically worth millions. You know what would be funny? And I'll forget where I came from. Immediately forget where I came from. Well, I don't know you either, then. <laughs> if I become rich. You see how rude he is? In fact, if I become rich, I hope you choke on that stick of bubblegum that comes in there. Okay, so first of all, we get a puzzle piece to start. This says pieces number 16, 17, 18, and 63. Collect all 63 pieces and complete the puzzle. <laughs> Leaf ink. Oh, wow. Carl. That means it's toxic. Yes. Dresemiski. This is awesome. Yeah, it's like words on it. It's toxic. And eat the gum. This one didn't come with gum, but I think the other one has gum. Okay, going through the cards. We got Jeff Robinson. Don't I'm know. only going to name the people I think I know. I think this looks like, uh, what's the guy that sings uh, <laughs> Lionel Richie? I think that's Lionel Richie played baseball <laughs> in the 90s. I'm pretty sure Lionel Richie. He, he what was his song? Bo. Bo does everything. Remember Bo? Easy like a snow. Oh, yeah, I remember Bo Jackson. Bo did everything. Bo Jackson was an awesome football player, baseball player. Slash. What's up, Ian? How you doing, buddy? Milton. Golf player. Bob Boone. Tim Jones. That's just Vance bad. Law. You called somebody a baboon. Baboon. Look, it's baboon. Baboon. What's up, Wrestling King? West Side. Tim. What's up, Rob? How you doing, brother? Now you're just holding him up. Vance Law. Mike Blubilowski. What would you do if you got a, like, a really, really Oh, rare man. Room? I would shut this video off immediately and quit. <laughs> I'd trick you as you went out the door and take the card. <laughs> I'm good. Hey, what's up, buddy? Mr. Louie. Doing good, my friend. How are you? Dwight, Mike, I don't know any of these guys. Charlie Hayes? Nope. No winners in this one. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, buddy? Jimmy Guns. There you go. If you want to know about cards or you're looking to purchase some vintage stuff, Jimmy Guns sells a lot of cards. He does a lot of really cool live uh, auctions and stuff. So check them out. Okay, which one now? Mm, let's go with the yellow one. The yellow one. Going to Yeller. Oh, Yeller. This is 1990 Major League score. Photo quality. Yeah. You sold them in 2000? Man, that's awesome that you were able to sell them. I've got thousands I wish I could sell. That is a score pack, man. You know what? None of these have gum. Oh, look what this one has. I, I used to have a bunch of these. What is it? It's like a little 3D little card. That says MVP? See. Did it make you feel special? Yes. Because <laughs> now you're an MVP? I am. Aww. Doing good. Been doing some toy hunts too. I know that, bud. How you doing? Did you uh, score anything from Ross yet? Anything else? 
I don't know if y'all want to see these cards as I thumb through them. Watched your video the other day at the yard sale. Crazy to see expensive vintage MO2 figures. I know, yeah, they're ridiculous prices nowadays. Bob Welch. Dave Clark. Didn't he do a countdown? Bo Jackson, there you go. Bo Jackson. 1990 Bo Jackson, left field. Yeah, Bo knows. Bo knows. You want the Mo plush? Man, uh, they had a... I got the two Mo plushes. I mean, the two plushies where they were casual wear. But there's two that had tuxedos. Two of the three Stooges. Mm -hmm. I found Bo knows everything. Bo knows crack. Andre Dawson, a.k.a. Lionel Richie in the 90s. He was hiding as a baseball player. Hey, we're going to have a party all night long. All night. All night. All night. All night. Vince Coleman. This was my dad. No one knew. <laughs> that was my dad, man. No um, kidding. Somebody lied to you. What? They lied to you. <laughs> well, you ever see that? You ever see the, the I see comedian? The resemblance right there. I see this is it. my dad, for real. Okay, I see this. Look, the resemblance. Like, let me give you the smile. Right? The resemblance? Let me see it again. Let me see it. Uh, totally. I see the resemblance. Right there. It's, it's the mustache. Awesome. Definitely three three Walking Dead. You did good. I didn't find anything that day, Lewis. I actually got to meet this guy in the chat, Lewis. Really nice. I think his uh, girlfriend was Nancy. Really nice people. And we ran into each other at a, a hunt. Cool and deal. he's a fellow collector. So nice. shout out to you, buddy. That was Why awesome. Then. Huh? Why is his card white and all the other ones? Oh, no. They're all different colors. Okay. Uh, this is Ryan Sandberg. Don't know him. He's a second base He's player. A he is a cubby. I should know him. Tom Glavin. Uh, this guy was a pitcher. I know all about him. I know all his cheating off the top back. <laughs> yeah, that's Ryan Sandberg. Yeah, it is. This is Wallace Johnson. It's related to Tim Johnson. You know, the brother of John. See? Look, Bill Ripken. He kind of looks yeah. like Tom Cruise. He looks nothing like Tom Cruise. Oh. He's probably a whole lot taller. Other than that. Man, this guy looks like a redneck. Why are you going there? Yeah, he was. He barely made it in the 90s to 90, and then he retired. John Wetland. Uh, this guy was a nice guy. He used to donate to the poor. He drove a Ford F-150. I don't know. No one knows. I can make up anything on here. I bet you his mama knows. This is Frank White. Not to be confused. With Frank Black. <laughs> He was a great player. Well, they're calling you out now. When are we going to see another hunt video from the Walmart Rambler? When are you going to do some hunting? Um, Roy Smith? I don't know. Maybe whenever I get to get off the truck. And Kevin Ritz? Some, have some days off, maybe. Remember the song? Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. Cheese Ritz. Chip Hale? Chip and Dale, but his name is Chip Hill. Chip Hill, like Chip, Chip Hill. Chip Hill? Like David Chip Hill? Henry Goto. That's uh -uh. it for this pack. All right, last pack. This one's going to be you the know winner. What, I wanna do? what do you want to do? That thing that I told you. Go and just map it out and then head up to certain destinations. Oh, yeah. We have plans for the future of hunting. I found Barb from Stranger Things at GameStop for $4.99. That's a steal, yeah. And picked up. Uh, Poster pre um, picked up Will from for four ninety nine. Man, you made a steal. Love looking at early nineties cards. I hear you, Jimmy. Me too. Eighties and nineties was my jam. Like that's my favorite players. That's basketball, football, baseball. That's a jam. Oh, that's awesome. You met him in junior high. That's a jam. Was he doing coming doing speeches? All right, we're opening up this very important pack. No, it's, it's not strawberry jam. This is going to be another uh, Dunross. So we no got a, another piece of puzzle. You know what's going to be heartbreaking? What's that? We'll never put all those puzzle pieces together. No. I may, though. Okay, let's look for some fancy people. This is Kurt Manwaring. Nope, not fancy. Really well-known. Take, take it off, Kevin. Uber wants me to take something off. Mm. See, we're trying to do a nice family card thing. Stan puzzle piece. Ah, you're right, bud. Jerry Brown. 
People have a lot of Colorful color, names. yeah, like color names. <clears throat> this is Don Sutton. Ah, oh, I remember him. Do you remember him? I think he's a pitcher. He came to your school. Oh, that is cool, man. Oh. You know what could be? To talk remember? about his uncle. Ah. Uh -huh. Did they change some of those uh, ballpark or the team names? See, so these are 88s. I didn't say. Yeah, they did. They did, right? Mm-hmm. This is Jeffrey Dale Parrot. Parrot, I'm just going to say. Magic Mike XXL. Yeah, put one more X in there if you're talking about me. <laughs> this is Trip. a family show. This is a None family show, now. sickos. Dwayne Murphy. Oh, man, remember him? Jamie Quirk. Oh, uh, with Casey, the Kevin Coleman's. The Kevin Coleman's. I need a milkshake. Man, I want a milkshake. Let's go get a milkshake. Really? You can't. No carbs. I've been eating all day <laughs> crap. Why would it matter now? <laughs> Carmen Dr. Castillo. Dr. Pepper milkshakes. Let's go. I found it boring. I wanted him to talk about talk baseball. <laughs> Brian yeah. Holton. I changed my mind. Put it back on. Pay me to put it on. <laughs> Tommy John. Tommy John. Jim Rice. He's related to Jerry Rice. Is he really? Yeah, from San Francisco. Nice. 49ers. Baseball's the best. I used to like it. I'm gonna um, see if uh, we take. This is Will Hernandez. My father-in-law to go to the Astros. This is Cecil Fielder's cousin, Mike Fielder. At the end of the month, end of September. You gonna go see a game? One of the last Astros games. Mike Young. Of the season, yeah. And Glenn Hubbard. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, man. I didn't get any billion dollar. I have to keep my job now after yeah, unboxing these start cards. Yeah, talking trash. Well, maybe one of these dudes will like uh -huh. kill his ex-girlfriend and go on a. 200 mile drive in a white <laughs> SUV <laughs> a white Bronco and make headline news and become famous and his card still be worth nothing they are the original, original mystery bags you're right this was cool thank you Mr. Kuntz I loved everything I think I have to all this stuff I mean I got like a inbox aliens vehicle I've got some amazing comic books my favorite toy and I probably unboxed maybe 30 figures here my oh, favorite dude, one no is gay stormtrooper Beetlejuice. You gotta take his hat off. Storm juice. This is my favorite toy. Hey, hey, hey. Don't wear white after Labor Day. I don't know what they say. No, we can wear white. Labor Day just passed. Oh, we can wear white now. No, don't wear white. What? After Sassy. Day? Is that the... That's when they shrunk they his head shrunk in the movie. His head. Yeah, they have a real head. Like this toy came with a Beetlejuice head you pop on there. Nice. And you just got the car? I got the car and another Beetlejuice. And another Beetlejuice. Uh huh. Now I got Sweet. gay Beetlejuice Stormtrooper. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Storm Juice for the Storm Juice. Everybody knows Storm Juice. And then that other one I got. Remember when we did the mystery boxes from uh, They Break the Internet or something like that? Oh, uh, yeah. Ralph Ralph the and Internet. they had that weird looking, fat, retarded, the heroin addicted cousin of uh, Jabba the Hutt toy. There that weird go. toy. His you, name, <laughs> Juicy. Hey, guys, I'm Juicy. <laughs> His rainbow side of the force. <laughs> Don't go to the dark side. I mean, unless hey, you hey, feel hey. it, you want to go to the dark side. Up it up it up it up. <laughs> he is awesome. Thank you, buddy. Put him in the box. Put him in the box. You're going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. Put him in the box. We've already gotten, like, four strikes from Elsa. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> that, that was he one. He gave me four no, strikes that yesterday. Was one. Keep going. This Run was five. Box. That's it. Uh, I wish I brought more stuff. But this was a heavy box. And I love this guy. I'm trying to collect all of these fellas. So, if anybody, uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug some stuff that we're doing. Uh, we got a podcast, an audio podcast we started for the Facebook page. And uh, you can find the link on the page or on Facebook. That one's cool. Also, uh, they need to go listen to it. You gotta go listen to it. We don't know what we're talking about. They never and know what also, we're talking about. <laughs> I want to start doing some reply auctions on our page, like some of the other guys. So, what's a reply auction? The Toy Savage. A reply auction, like you sell, you you do an auction on the Facebook page. You just go down and like you'll start everything say at a dollar. So you go to that and oh. you can put two. The next guy can put three, and you just bid. The You're bidding. That I get after you for doing. You're right. Yeah. Those are kind of addicting and kind of fun. Look how amazing this is. What's that? An actual watch 1987 uh, California Raisins watch 
And you can change out the bands and everything. It's brand new in the package from 87. You need to stand up and do the California Raisin dance. Exactly, Kevo. That's what I want everybody to start doing on our channel. Like, you know, you go, you, it may or may not sell, but you could try. What? Do what? Do the dance. That's racist. Why? Because it's a, it's a That's not a thing. white California Raisin dance. It's a, it's a raisin dance. You got a ton? Me too, bud. Too much. I've got doubles and triples of everything. How about that unicorn, Kevo? <laughs> Sell the unicorn. And Grimace? He's cool. He's broken. No, he's not. Shh, don't say that. I was making him think it was okay. Toy Savages <laughs> didn't like me. They sent me packing and stole my toys. <laughs> the raisins? No. Oh. So that's going to be that, my friends. That, that particular person has a very active imagination. Everything's it's racist. Everybody's offended in 2019. Everybody. Everybody. I'm offended. Don't go outside. You'll offend somebody. I definitely will offend somebody because I don't think before I talk. You don't. I'm forever going, Kevin. Kevin. You, sh you shouldn't say that thing in front you of those nuns. <laughs> those poor, poor nuns. So then you offend people because they're nuns. You actually have a unicorn? No. Someone's going to auction a unicorn. They have a real unicorn on here. They do not have a real unicorn. We don't know. I'm going to shave my beard on my days off. You need to. Why do I need to? I don't to? think you need to shave it. I think you need to trim it. because It's only racist you if, if you're white. <laughs> when you tri trimmed it the last time that you came in, it, it looked really good. When I trimmed it? Yeah. Someone said, <laughs> what do you say? The gold digger. He goes, I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool mystery pack. That's just not right. That's wrong. That is so wrong. That is so criminal. wrong. So this was she ain't awesome. With no broke. G. Broke. Broke. We got. Broke. Everything's racist. Broke. Everything hurts. Everyone's feelings. I stay in trouble. <laughs> Nonstop. Hey, but it's all good because everybody gets a trophy. Really? You think get the Bo Jackson? Man, I got a lot of Bo Jackson. I got a Bo Jackson rookie card. How do I do the grading? Do I just go through a website? Because I don't be knowing. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Go like this? Yes, like that. G.I. Jose. Dun, 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 dun. He moved. Our G.I. Jose used to work with us. He moved away. Everybody he misses G.I. Jose. He finished college and he moved away. GI, our very own G.I. Jose is a college graduate. Woo! -woo! Shout out to G.I. Jose. Shout out to G.I. Jose if you're listening. He lives over there by Mexico, right? He lives in Laredo. Yeah, basically. Well, that's not Mexico. It's Laredo. <laughs> Don't do that. You look very evil. Very, very bright eye. Bright. What is that? Bright burn. The cup got broke. Yeah, the cup did crack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the cup got cracked. But it's okay. It's still awesome. Or you can grill. <laughs> gorilla Gook. What the hell? Gorilla Gook? That's <laughs> racist! Gorilla Gook. What's a Gorilla Gook? No, Gorilla Gook. I glue. heard you say Gorilla Gook. I don't know what a Gook is, but... You know gorilla, what it is. I don't know what a Gook is. You don't is. really... No, it's a It's gook. a racial term for an Asian. No way. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm... <laughs> you just keep hitting. You're just batting a no-hitter. Batting a thousand. <laughs> I was trying to say Gorilla Glue. Someone by me... Oh, man. Yeah, Caleb, now that you and Kevo mentioned it, uh, my GameStop had just the two. It had Leo and it had Raph, which came with yeah. Batman and Robin. They're, but they're, they're $50 each. Oh, I was having fun with that knife. They're $50 each, though. So if you want to get all four, that's $200. But I'll tell you what, I want Leo and Batman because both of those uh, figures look great. I didn't think I was going to like them, but la cosa es que I did like them. So now you're in trouble because now you're going to want to spend. Well, see... That's why you're doing what you're doing. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Shit, that's too high. Yeah, 50 bucks, guys. Auction. Auction, bud. Yeah, oh, that's all that's out. They haven't come out with the other ones yet. But in the back, you can see they got uh, they got Alfred. They've got, uh, of course, the other turtles. They got uh, Ra's al Ghul. It's a pretty cool. They look good. I like the sets. Alfred's not with the turtles. No, but there Alfred's was a... Batman. Yeah, but and there's Ra's a Batman Ninja not. Turtle crossover. They did a movie cartoon movie animated movie so and now they have toys that both of them come with a batman and a ninja turtle oh. 
So Ra's al Ghul and Alfred are Batman figures. I thought and they Ra's put al one... Ghul was a... Um... No, he, he trained Batman. He's he's uh, Batman's father-in-law. Batman got married? Yeah, he was with a woman and had Damien. That's how why he has a real son. Because they... Oh, I didn't know Damien was Batman. That's his kid. real child. Ah. Holy... Yeah, we're kidding. Howdy. How do you do, sir? I ain't gonna talk shit now. Hey, Jamie. That's your bodyguard? <laughs> yeah, we're picking on her all day. So, yeah, they did the crossover animated movie, and now you have a TMNT figure in every pack along with a Batman character. I didn't know. I know I followed the Damien and um, the Damien line. Damien Dark. Ah, yes. The Dark Knight. Damien the Dark Knight. Dark. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. There it is. Okay, there it is. There Sensor it is. alert. I gotta go. Where are you going? I have to do work. I got stuff to do. Oh, you gotta do stuff. All right, the Rambler's out here. Bye, everybody. Say bye to the Rambler. Peace. Uh, again, uh, make sure to check out uh, Toy Savages. Make sure to check out the Savage Podcast. Uh, make sure to check out all our channels. Thank you, Lori, too. Lori's awesome. Thank you so much, Lori. I appreciate you. Jason mentioned that you would throw in a bunch of extras, and there's like a ton of figures in there. So I really appreciate you taking all that effort to throw in everything extra. You both are awesome. I really love the package. I had a really good time uh, opening it and sharing it, and I can't wait to put it in my collection. What'd you say? Oh. So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and call it here. It's uh, just over an hour. We'll go ahead and call this live turkey stuffed. And I'm outie. Thank you all for checking it out. Make sure to follow everybody. Make sure not to be racist or to offend anybody in the world. You have to tippy toe on eggshells. Rambler's outie. My uh, buddy here, Amanda, this other lady here, go back in my logs. If you ever want to see her, she did one of my very first uh, toys, toy R's, toys R Us hunts. She actually filmed for me, so she's... Uh, a couple years ago, she filmed the Toys R Us. We were working together. It's been two years. It's been two years now. So I'll catch everybody later. I won't work too hard. I've been working real hard. I'm gonna try to take it easier. So I'm gonna take a break because I'm real tired. But we'll catch you all later. I'm gonna be doing some challenge videos possibly today. So, man, almost midnight. What's it like? It midnight's early to me. I'm up at four, five, six. We don't sleep at night. But you have a good night, Tim. I enjoyed your latest uh, unboxing video. Make sure to check out Tim's newest unboxing video. Tim's Toy World. He's got some great stuff from across the ocean there. I'm going to challenge you, Kevo, to this challenge video. I'm going to call you out, so be ready. Nandi, good night. You take care, sir. If uh, weather starts to look bad, don't hesitate to run away from that crap. Because uh, no telling what this thing can do. And I think there's another one they're following now. Dondi, do the... Yes, Dondi, do it. Do the Donkey Kong challenge. That would be fun. The only rules is you try to get as far as you can with one, the first uh, player one, you know, your first player. And once you die, it's over. So it doesn't have to take long, you know, a five, six minute video if, if you can last that long. Like, I think I made it to six minutes. Kevo, the Donkey Kong challenge, you need to find uh, a way to play Donkey Kong, the classic Donkey Kong record yourself playing it you can even set your phone up in front of the tv and just play it right there it doesn't have to be all high tech or anything but just play a, a round of donkey kong and try to see how far you can get with one character and that's the challenge and then post it post a video of you playing it and see how far you get so having said that i suck first barrel first barrel you know what sucks is they start doing that zigzag barrel angled barrels i hate those things <laughs> but try it and then it can come out also in your uh one of your video game specials it's player one all right guys everyone take care thank you so much catch you later